University of Education, Winneba. Uh, you've also heard from our great university, University of Cape Coast, um, about steps that they have taken in cases where the fees were over 15%, uh, they are doing refunds. They want to live uh, within the 15% as mandated by parliament. So I'm very happy this morning. So I want to hear from Nooks. No, no, no quota has been instituted other than the fact that uh, schools are admitting based on their capacity. Uh, because we know that prior to this year, uh, last year, uh, we have up to just level 300. Now we have level 400. Government has embarked on major infrastructure uh, development, building new hostels. They are not completed yet. So if you allow the same number of students that were there from the previous year, they won't fit in the school. So that's why GTEC work with the colleges uh, to adjust so that they can accommodate all our students. Still on education, tertiary education, that is, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast and the University of Education, Weneba, have both expressed satisfaction over the outcome of the meeting with the Education Minister, Dr. Yao Osei Educhum. We have applied the 15% as was directed by Parliament, and then I feel that the students do not have any case anymore. All the universities have that arrangement in place. They have it said that students pay part of the fees. Uh, for the for the year, and then the second semester they pay that half. So all the students, all the investors have that arrangement. When you pay beyond above that amount, you, you, we paid back to the students. We made that request, and we, we paid back to the student. And it, some of the students also have scholarship. Sometimes they do not even know they paid the amount of that school fees to us. And then later, when they make the request, we refund it to them.